what up guys super mazaku here before i start yo y'all better click on that soundcloud link Y'all better click on that shit. All the support I get to y'all motherfuckers, y'all better support this shit. At least click on the motherfucking shit. I ain't forget, motherfucker. Click on that shit. First title, uh, song titled Friends. Music, uh, as far as this mixtape get better and better. Release date is July 25th. And I will release a video, um, I believe it's a day dirty yet tomorrow. Basically about some shit that I've been going through for like the last, you know, six months, you know, including the whole stabbing situation. Just everything I've been dealing with, because all of that energy is going to be put into this tape. So just so you guys really get a better feel and a better understanding of what you're going to see. And also, the audio for friends will be releasing <coughs> pause, on YouTube April 1st around 12, 1 a.m., depending on where you're at. But, Sasuke, <coughs> fuck, I hate being sick, man. Turns out, which I kind of already kind of knew, Sasuke knows that Burrito has that seal on his palm. He knows. Um, if you guys had not known, uh, I'll leave the, also that link in the description. Uh, shout out, I forgot the, the nigga name. Can you shout his ass out? I know, he commented on uh, my mixtape link, excuse me, my song link video uh, about the spoilers. And I read the whole chapter. First off, Savada. This bitch look like a fucking prostitute. Sasuke probably looking back like, oh, I should have been there. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, Sasuke, you fucked up. Your daughter looked like she done got the train ran through her a couple of times. She looked like that cash from your side, bitch. So, but, at, you know, her mom's Sakura, so, you know, shit like this ain't far-fetched. So, I'm not shocked that this direction is took. And it's like, yeah, look at your mom. I mean. She just saw sucking nigga dick and he tried to kill her twice, so it ain't far fetched for me. For me, it's just making for me. This good it's good for me. Cause it's just helping, you know, Burrito, he gonna be able to hit a lot faster now. He don't gotta put in no effort. You don't put in no effort for these souls. Just be like, oh for real? It's like that? Alright, say less, you know what I mean? And, and get your shit in, so. Ah, shit, bitch, fuck you. That shit fucking hurt. Look at me sounding like the Hodge Twins and shit. Damn, that shit fucking hurt, nigga. That shit got a fucking mark. Damn. Say it all. fuck with y'all. <coughs> ah, damn. <coughs> that boy really sick. Now, back to the chapter. Um, It looks like they're um doing a standard mission for excuse me, a standard mission for this some kind of rich boy or he looks like a buttered up piece of shit. And it's like, okay, we're going to have one of those chapters where they help a rich dude and some guys try to kidnap him or his family and they got to fuck him up. And Miski and Burrito and Savita, they surely fuck him up with the, the, the enemies up with ease. But that's what you would expect. I mean, you got Miski who secretly has sage mode. Savada who has a shaman gun, and then Buruto who is basically God Blood. So it's like you, it's cheating at this point. You know, it's just like yo, how are you gonna fucking win? You got the Sage Mode user, shit's get dire. You got somebody who's fucking strong as shit with the shaman gun for precision to make sure she hits your dumb ass. It's like having a Shidori suffer. It's your fucking fist this time. And then Buruto it's just like. Dude already has two fucking chakra natures. Now he has a fucking seal which can murder niggas. Can use, uh, even though it doesn't even have to be out right now, can use the, um, the gentle fist, which, it's just like the Rasengan, and then he can make it vanish. Top day, he's Uzumaki and Hugo, direct descendant from Naruto and his whole Ashua bullshit, because that incarnation crap. And then direct descendant from, you know, Hinatu is the Byakugan princess, leads all the way up to Torneri slash um, Harmura and Kaguya. See, he is literally a direct descendant from each side. You know, from Asura's side and fucking, uh, whatever that fucking Kaguya, moon, that moon motherfucking side. So it's just like, on top of that, it's like he's a child prodigy as well. So it's... It just finally really sunk in, you know. As I said it before, these dudes like that basically baby gods, but now it's just like logically, it doesn't make sense for them to lose any mission at all. 
Because if shit gets dire, mind, they're already good by themselves in their base forms. But if shits get dire, people will die. It's no fucking way somebody should walk away and just fuck these three niggas up. Unless you're Naruto or Sasuke. Or at least Shikamaru. Shikamaru will probably fuck them niggas up. Cause, you know, they grown ass men and shit. But, you know, as far as anybody else in the village, it's just like, no. In this uh, era... <laughs> I gotta say, I gotta hand it to this new bird's whoever, man. Especially Gar's child. Dude has fucking orange sand release. D I I don't understand these motherfucking overpowered niggas. But they whip these these guys' asses, these random ass ninja. One of them has a 70s porn star mustache. And so it's like, okay, they're trying to, you know, whatever they're trying to do, they got stopped. We're going to a scene where uh, Berto and Sasuke talking. And they basically the same uh, regular shit, you know, Burrito, you know, just talking to Sasuke and Sasuke saying, yeah, but make sure, you know, you're okay with that seal that you got in your hand. Which kind of makes sense that Sasuke knows because you guys read chapter 10 or 9, I believe. Sasuke at the, you know, and I don't know if it was Burrito's subconscious where Momoshiki was talking to him, but Sasuke noticed a difference. You know, and you seen it in his face that something wasn't normal, but he didn't really say anything about it. So Naruto right now, he doesn't know anything about the seal, which is bad. You should probably tell Naruto, you know, it's just, it's not like he's going to cut his fucking son's hand off. But Sasuke basically said, if anything happens, that's crazy. Because right now, everything's normal. Anything happens is crazy, it'll learn me right away. So it looks like Sasuke is really gonna be staying in the village because now you kinda have to to make sure Burrito don't fuck his own shit up. So that's just that's good, you know. It's good to see Sasuke. And I believe from this point on we're gonna have to uh we're gonna see Burrito somehow lose control of it. Sasuke somehow, you know, renders it, you no, know, or you know, conceals it. And he tells Burrito, make sure to keep using it. But make sure to gain control. It's going to be like a whole nother um, Naruto with his nine tail fox or with Kurama thing. How it was evil at first. It's hard to control. It's going to be the same thing with Burrito. So now he has a conflict, an internal conflict to really overcome. To try to control the cell and make sure at least Momoshiki doesn't try to dumb, do some dumb shit to take over his body. As with Kurama that it try to do take over Naruto. So they're trying to make that connection of symbolism there. I respect it. Um... Because at this point, it's like Burrito, he's just too good at everything. So he has to have some kind of internal conflict going on to make us interested even more into his character. I mean, it's going to be cool watching him whoop everybody's ass. Like, damn, he really got him for real. But it's like, give him some kind of struggle so, so fans can relate to him. So I respect him putting that in the story. Um, I will be very interested in seeing that. Um, I will make an episode uh one Burrito series uh, prediction probably today. I don't know, maybe. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I also have a live stream maybe today with Stoops, I believe. Maybe on my channel, might not. I'm not sure. Make sure you guys see that. Uh, Friday, I'm about to Hall of Fame ceremony. Saturday, excuse me, Friday, also dropping um, a video of me explaining what's been going on for the last six months as far as, you know, love and this whole bullshit. Everything that's basically going to be pouring into this mixtape, all these emotions, and how I got out of my depression. So, I want you guys to really, you know, pay attention and watch that video because that's probably the most personal I'm going to give anybody. So, make sure you guys watch, watch that Saturday song dropping. Sunday, Dragon Ball, I think Dragon Ball Super, hopefully it's the episode next week. If it is, I'll review it. But thank you guys for watching, you know, like, comment, subscribe. And you guys want me to get this chapter ready and um, this chapter wasn't interesting at all besides the whole bird to a Sasuke confrontation. So I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. It was nothing really impressive or anything that impressed me. Like, oh shit. Did no. No. But it's nice to know Burrito now has an internal conflict that he needs to face. And <coughs> the Burrito, and you guys see the first chapter, he obviously overcomes it. But it's going to be nice to see the journey and all of that. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys been Team Mazaku since day one. Support that song. Link in the description. SoundCloud. Mazaku friends. And if you just don't follow links or don't have a SoundCloud, let's go to SoundCloud.com. Type in Mazaku. I should show up. I'm not. It's not like all these rappers uh, name my Mazaku. No, just type in M A Z A K U. I should show up. You should know which one is me. So thank you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Love you for all my heart, man. Thank you.